Hello and welcome back, I'm b Joe and this is a continuation of the Absolute Beginner's Guide for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Today we're going to concentrate on research and universities. We're looking at the universities, which are down here under state infrastructure, and you have several different universities to choose from, and over here the university hall residences, or also called dorms. Um, what are we looking for? Very simple. Go over here first, questions and answers, under... Commission scientist, uh, what is there to research? You have all these tracks, and there are a lot of them. Sadly, we can't make this any bigger. But white background means medical university, um, blue background means technical, and red means party headquarters. Which of these are really important? At some point, you will want all of them. For example, vaccines are very great to have. Um, you can increase or decrease your birth rate, which is very handy in the beginning of your republic if you have money problems. Also, alcohol standards, you can reduce your alcohol penalty, which means if you supply alcohol to your citizens, they will get happier, but they will also get unhealthier and have shorter lifespans. So um, you have to weigh your pros and cons there. Uh, some engineering disciplines will be sorted out here. Better steel, steel production in general, taller buildings are part of this and some of these are mixed between the technical and the headquarter um some pollution filters they're very important uh, if you would like to replant your trees and your forestries don't uh, run out of trees all the time um there's also research for that getting fuel and bitumen organized uh, as part of this phone tapping for secret uh, secret police is in here as well uh chemistry uh, geology this is where you unlock the actual geo map and see where on this map your resources are um there, there's a lot there's just a lot of stuff going on here recycling can be really interesting um gas power plant then some fertilizers if you want to broadcast and increase your loyalty you have some um, broadcasting introduction and radio tv television station tv broadcast radio broadcast again these are mixed with uh, technical and headquarter um, secret police is also locked in the headquarter again you may get some extra cars or some extra settings unlocked air traffic airports etc etc they're all here um this is tourism if you want that and a distribution office um, and fire prevention if you want that and there's a lot of research and i'm not going to say that this is the only research that's going to be left over there may be more later on um what would i say you should start with well i think a lot of you if you want to play the logistics way, you want to get to the rail distribution office really fast. So the headquarter, the red one, may be a pretty good path to take right in the beginning. And that's a fun one. I like that one. The other path is probably going down the geology path and making your own um, resources or digging up your own resources. That can be very helpful. Um, and then also fuel. That's also a very, very fun industry to build. Um, so you can probably start there. If you really have health problems and people problems, maybe the medical university is a good one to go to increase your population really fast. But I probably built that as a third one. Also, you can build multiple universities and do multiple research pieces at the same time if that is something you care about. Um, also hidden here are exports like power and fuel, not fuel, but pipes. Um, you do have to do the research per a building that you built so if you want five um, power connections for the soviet countries you need to research that five times otherwise it won't work um, the same thing is true for some other ones for example vaccines uh, development and citizen vaccinations these you have to do every six months or so um, and these the increased birth rate and decreased birth rate is also redone every six months so it, it's not just a continuous thing uh, so you keep working on the universities but overall it's pretty fun what i would say for our little republic here we're just going to build the standard i'm just going to go with the headquarter and you have the choice between a huge building that's very expensive and a small one the other two universities don't have that yet but i would assume that by full release you will have smaller versions of all the universities and have a better choice but i like the small headquarter you can even place it in uh, some other places like over here this is totally fine because all I want this to be is in range of water, sewage, heat, and power. And then also in walking range of the bus station. So we can plop that down here. That gets built as we're looking at it. And then once this is done, uh, we can look at a couple things. You have uh, staff and party officials. Party officials are just higher educated people, but you will get higher education while you're here. You could set government loyalty uh, in these buildings, but because you're not really increasing it too high, don't 
increases to something stupid like 100%. You can probably set it to an average of what you have right now. 55% is not terrible. Let's set this to something like maybe 30%. Um, just to be safe because your loyalty is decreasing you cannot set this because that's not researched yet now you have a bunch of people sitting here okay so there are students and students waiting for party officials once you have this one fully staffed that will look different so what should you start with well if you want to if you know what you want to research you can also get to the research tree from here uh, but if you know what you want you just click on the icon and then you have this setting there are party officials working on your research and if this is too many you can reduce it like this. If it's too uh, if it's too few, you just increase it like so. Obviously, the more uh, officials you have um, working on this, the faster research will go by. It does tell you how long it takes, 700 workdays. Um, so it's a considerable amount of time. It's not just an immediate thing, but this is how you set up pretty much every university. You do want a university very soon because at some point, your um, number of educated people over here, you have uneducated workers, zero hopefully, workers with low education uh, and workers with higher education. In this case, I only have 153 higher educated people, which is pretty bad. You want about 30 to 40% of your population to be higher educated to make sure that you have enough highly educated people to do all the things that you need to do because you need higher educated people in many places, for example, Police officers here have to be higher educated. Your wardens don't, so that's fine. Uh, your judges have to be higher educated. You need your um, doctors to be higher educated. And this one looks like we're fine now, so we can reduce this to a more reasonable number. Um, but then also you need your teachers. They also have to be higher educated. All those people need to, be, need to have higher education, and without them, you cannot get more people with high education that is really the biggest problem once you don't have enough highly educated people you have to adjust that and the only way to do that is to go in here and uh, invite five immigrants from the soviet bloc which are very expensive compared to the other ones and they will get more expensive over time um, but you can do this and then if you need an in-between solution you can tell um, your guys here to go to work at this building and just 100 percent of them there's a trick that you can employ here. You can always set uh, the bus station as one goal and the actual building where you want them to work as the other goal. So the overflow goes there. And then set the bus station, one that you don't care about a lot, to 0%. This just means it will send workers to the headquarter or to this building until there's no more room for more workers. And everyone else will just go to the bus station. Otherwise, you lose that worker for the day, which is not great. Not sure if you saw it, but we did have a, a waste truck show up and that picked up some stuff over here that I much rather have been picked up via uh, the garbage, uh, like via normal garbage um, situation. So let's just add this here and our garbage should actually fill up there relatively soon. What do we have here? Bio waste, burnable waste and other waste. So yeah, we could set this to bio waste if we wanted to, but right now we don't have the separation um, No. So that's that. The other universities work exactly the same way. The only thing that may still be interesting is how do these university or hall, hall residences work. They are almost the same as a normal residential building uh, with a difference of making sure they have water here. There's a difference. I'm going to flip this because it may be a little thinner on the other side. Uh, yes, there's a difference. You let, let's see. Let's follow a student. Uh, maybe the student. This student has been in the university now for a few hours and is learning something. Currently, the education level is 1.03. Once they leave and do something else, they may or may not increase their education level. So it's uh, 1.0 right now. At the end of the day, it will either be higher or lower and nothing will have changed. If nothing changes, it doesn't mean it did anything wrong. It just takes a little while to educate people. The problem with this person um, looks like it's wanting to go to school again. You're 16. You're not helpful. You, you just started. You're not making the point that I wanted to make. We need to find someone that is a little older um, that can already work. So this 19-year-old may be our goal. So same thing, education level 1.9. Once you hit education level 2.0, that is when you turn into the worker with higher education, which is what you want. Um, but let's continue this. So they increase the education level for the day. That's great. You should definitely follow people around like I'm doing right now because that helps you a lot figure out what problems you may have or what other things need to be taken care of. 
Um, but the next day, where does this person go? This person is trying to work. It's going to the bus station. It does not know what it wants to do yet. And it may get picked up for work or it may get sent to a place to work. It's, it's hard to say because this person is, is, has not decided where it wants to go yet. It's going right now. It's going to the headquarters, which is perfect. So maybe this was a student all along. But sometimes people will decide to go work somewhere if that is a if that is a possibility. Um, sometimes you will have that, and that's great. Sometimes you may have issues where you don't have enough people go to school all the time. They will get dragged away and go to work or do some other things. If that ever happens, these dorms are amazing. Uh, all this means is everyone that that sits here is just a student. All they're going to do 100% of the time is go to work, sorry, go to school, learn, and then do their free time, come back, go to school. So they go every single day, they go to school, and they will increase their uh, education level really, really, really fast. And that's what you can do here. That's what these university residences are for. If you If they're not full, that's fine. You can just pick from anywhere you have, and you can move some people around. Uh, be aware that moving them sometimes makes them a little angry, but um, looks like they're doing fine. So 67% happiness here. It's not great, but they will gain that back. Uh, but this is full. Once these are fully, once these graduate, they will go anywhere in the Republic, not just in the uh, in the city that's close by, which is pretty fun. One last note about higher educated people. They're the ones that require more electronics because they have fancy gadgets. Just imagine that. Um, and they will buy more and more electronics. So if you have a higher population of higher educated people, you will have to pay for more electronics. And electronics is actually one of the things that's the most expensive in the late game and generally bankrupts people. That's the last thing you see. You're like, oh, my electronics are too expensive. I guess I'm done. And that's it. That's all we have to worry about. And um, yeah, let's go from here. I hope that helps someone. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.